Analysts have named weapons that will help Ukraine hit key Russian missile industry plants located 500 to 1,500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. In their analysis, experts from Defense Express relied on two Western publications that touched on the fact that Ukraine, as part of the Victory Plan, submitted a request to the United States for Tomahawk cruise missiles to strike deep into Russian territory since the enemy's main missile factories are located at a distance of up to 1,500 kilometers and long-range missiles are needed to destroy them. Analysts suggested that Ukraine had asked for long-based Tomahawks, which the U.S. Army uses for the medium-range Typhon missile system. They noted that the U.S. Army has only two Typhon batteries with four launchers each, but the Typhon launcher itself for the Tomahawk is based on an improvised solution, a Mark 41 Universal launch cell standard for U.S. Navy surface ships was installed on a land platform. Referring to data from the Jamestown Foundation, analysts noted that MKB Raduga is a plant that assembles KH-101 cruise missiles, NPO Machino Stroyenia produces P-800 and Siakon missiles, Votkinsk plant produces 9M-723 ballistic missiles for the Iskander OTRK and in Soviet times, manufactured missiles for the Tochka U OTRK and NPK KB Machino Stroyenia also produces ballistic missiles for the Iskander OTRK. Analysts noted that long-range kamikaze UAVs would not be enough to destroy such factories to a truly powerful and long-range weapon, so a truly powerful and long-range weapon is needed for such a task and the Tomahawk is ideal here. Analysts noted that the Jamestown Foundation advised Ukraine to develop its own liquid-fueled medium-range ballistic missile as if such a weapon could be developed in a few months when in fact it would take at least a few years under ideal circumstances. Recall US President Joe Biden said that Western allies have not yet been able to resolve the issue of allowing Ukraine to use Western long-range weapons to strike Russian territory. On October the 28th, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that today there is no unanimous opinion among all partners regarding such a permit. Spanish authorities said 51 people have died after flash floods swept away cars, turned village streets into rivers and disrupted rail lines and highways. Emergency services in the eastern region of Valencia confirmed the death toll. Rainstorms on Tuesday caused flooding in a wide swath of southern and eastern Spain. A high-speed train with nearly 300 people on board derailed near Malaga, although rail authorities said no one was hurt. Floods of mud-colored water tumbled vehicles down streets at frightening speeds. Pieces of wood swirled with household articles. Police and rescue services used helicopters to lift people from their homes and cars. The storms are forecast to continue through Thursday. Rescue teams worked into Tuesday night to evacuate residents and search for missing people. The regional president of Eastern Valencia, Carlos Mazin, said it was still too early to give an exact figure of the dead, with many people still missing. Mazin spoke after Spanish national broadcaster RTVE said 13 bodies were recovered in Valencia, citing the civil guard. High-speed train service between Valencia City and Madrid was interrupted, as were several commuter lines. Storms were forecast to continue through Thursday, according to Spain's National Weather Service. Spain has experienced similar autumn storms in recent years. It is still recovering from a severe drought earlier this year. Scientists say increased episodes of extreme weather are likely linked to climate change.